it is time to talk iPad OS 26 beta 1 and you can see it running here on our 13 inch iPad Pro with the M4 chip and right off the bat you can see the difference in animations and design we'll talk about all that here in a second we'll talk about how unique it is depending on your orientation you can have different widgets and I am very impressed with what this update has to offer so first things first jumping into settings general and about this version of the very first beta is an N build, and you can see the total build number is 23A5260N. So this N signifies that we do have a little way to go before a public release. That's not surprising by any means, considering, again, this is the first beta, and we know this will not be released until about September's time frame. So keep that in mind. This is going to be a work in progress for a few months now. Now, having said that, iPad OS definitely does seem a lot more stable than what iOS seems to be at the moment. I will say watchOS has been a pleasant surprise though as well. And then let's jump in to the actual first changes you will realize. And that is going to be that liquid glass. There's been a lot of debate and kind of unique takes on this saying it's a step back for Apple. It is not where it should be, that this is not the direction Steve would have liked and all of that. However, moving beyond that, I do think if executed correctly, this could be a great new design language for Apple to go with going forward. If you scroll down, you can see just how frosted everything looks around here and just the level of details you get even from pulling down. And look at that. Just take a look at these UI tweaks that Apple has built here. I really do like and can see the potential of what this will do. Now, having said all that, whatever, design is one thing, usability and productivity is another. So with iPad OS, they have merged the gaps even closer to Mac OS and I am all about it. So the first thing you probably noticed a second ago too, when you pull down or have a keyboard attached on the top, you have now a menu bar. You have your files, edit, view, windows, help, this is truly looking more Mac-like now than ever. In addition to your expand, shrink, and close icons here. So maximize, minimize, and close are all buttons right here as well within your apps to take advantage of. And I think that looks great. It's implemented great. It's not overbearing or terribly designed. They're minimized until you need to select them. And I love that look. Now, what I know a lot of people are going to be more excited about is the new true multitasking you get here. So what you can see here on the bottom right hand corner of every app when you launch it is a little line that you can simply use to actually drag and resize any app you want. So if you want to keep iOS and settings, I'm sorry, if you want to keep iPadOS settings open, you can do that. And then say, for instance, let's go ahead, and just expand this out a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and open Chrome. You can see just how easy it is to move around and keep multiple apps option open at the same time. Huge, huge fan here. And again, you get all of those menu bar items per app, depending on what's on the front and center. You have all of those options there as well. It is better than before, better than Stage Manager offered. And I am a huge, huge fan of this. And one other thing that's really cool, it does seem that everything holds in memory a little better than it ever did. So if you have, let's just say again, move this over here and you have something else running down here. If you went all the way back to Chrome, it is working very well. Let's go ahead and take a look at this Hawks K Resort. Yada, yada, yada. Let's go ahead and now minimize this. Sends it right back to the dock. Let's look at some music here. Get up, mix, play. Let me make sure it's quiet so we don't get monetized, demonetized. And now let's go ahead and launch it back. There we are. It is working very, very smoothly and definitely a lot better than I've seen multitasking work on an iPad in a long time. One other thing that's pretty cool, let me go ahead and just stop this right now. Uh, you do now have the journal app in your iPad. So if that's something you like to do, you can take advantage of that. It is right here as well. More excitingly, I think, is the new preview app. So 
This will be able to help you preview all your apps. This is kind of a work in progress. It's not much different than files right now. I'm going to be curious to see how it actually works long term and what the ultimate goal is. But for now, it is here. Plenty of options coming soon. And then also, like I said, background processes. The memory usage on these iPads are finally tweaked just enough so you can actually export videos and do anything you need in the background. So say, for instance, you are wanting to use iMovie or something like that and you're cruising around wanting to export it, but then you also want to check your email or check some photos. You can now do that easily with actually live activities. You'll have one slide in. It'll tell you this is in progress. You're exporting something and you're good to go. You don't have to wait for it to finish to take advantage of anything else. So that's kind of what we're looking at here. I am a huge fan. Again, this is only beta one. More features will continue to be released and tweaked over the next couple of beta cycles. So I'm very curious to know what you guys think. So make sure to leave a comment down below in regards to that. As far as release schedule goes, Traditionally, between beta 1 and 2, there is a two-week delay. So we did just receive this on the 9th. Today is one week later. And then the 23rd is the first date, I would assume, for us to receive beta 2. If you're familiar and you follow iOS as well, you know they actually released a beta 1.5 or a beta 1 re-release last Friday. That actually helped a little bit, but still did not give a lot of changes, as you would anticipate for only three days after a beta came out. Uh, so I'm assuming on the 23rd, we should have a more true to form beta 2 for iPad OS, iOS, and watch OS, along with a suite of other operating system Apple offers. So let me know, like I said, down below, what do you think about iPad OS? Did they make this worthwhile? Are you happy with all these changes? Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the ne next one. Peace.